Hi everyone, welcome back to another exciting Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. Today we will be creating a stunning realistic galaxy system entirely from scratch using Niagara FX. We will begin by shaping the galaxy's outer disk through custom Niagara model scripts, followed by creating a detailed core bulge to serve as the galaxy's bright center. Next, we will add realistic dust lens within the disk and then enhance our galaxy with a subtle beautiful halo effect. We will then move on to creating custom procedural noise material using HLSL that can add wispy ethereal dust clouds between the particles for even greater realism. Finally, we will leverage the user exposed parameters along with additional forces and velocities to fine tune and fully customize our galaxy. So let's get started. First, I created a GPU based Niagara emitter with a spawn rate of 10,000 particles. In the particle spawn phase, I added a new scratchpad module and inside our model script, I added a custom HLSL node. This is where we are going to write the core logic for our galaxy shape. Now we are ready to define the parameters we need before writing our custom script. The first parameter normalized angle typically represents the normalized execution index for each particle. But since this is going to be an input parameter in your emitter, you can choose to define however you want to. The key here is that the normalized angle is unique for every particle, ensuring that each one occupies a distinct position within the galaxy disk. We start by using the normalized angle to compute a radial distance from the center. The square root function ensures that the particles are evenly distributed over the entire area of the disk. The normalized angle is mapped to an angle between 0 to 2 pi to set the particle's initial direction. And then an extra twist proportional to the radial distance is added. Depending on the twist factor, we can change the strength of the twist. This will create a spiral shape for the galaxy. And then we calculate the angular spacing between the spiral arms using arm angle. This is going to be depending on the arm count parameter. So the twisted angle is then snapped to the nearest multiple of the arm angle, ensuring distinct well-defined spiral arms. The variable arm spread lets you control how tightly the particles are aligned with the arms. The polar coordinates are then converted into the x and y positions of the particle. A pseudo-random vertical offset is computed from the normalized value to give the disk thickness. And finally, we compute the out position of the particles which we connect to the particle position over here. We make input parameters out of all the HLSL parameters that we created. We added the default values for every parameter and for the normalized angle we create a default binding which is going to be the normalized execution index of the particle. You can experiment with these parameters to create your desired look and even at this stage it is starting to resemble something impressive. So next we are going to create a bulge effect for the core of the galaxy. This is the code for the galaxy bulge. We start by computing a radial distance using a cubic root of normalized angle. This ensures that the particles fill the 3D volume uniformly instead of clustering at the center. You can adjust the parameters over here for the radius and the thickness of the bulge. So now we have the galaxy core and the galaxy disk emitters and let's modify the galaxy disk a bit. So here I'm going to add some swirling effect to the outer disk. So we need another parameter for that. So now let's create some dust lens. Dust lens are those beautiful dark strips visible in real galaxies. It basically consists of regions of dense cosmic dust that block or dim the light from the stars behind them. We added four more parameters. Okay, so first we will use a simple noise function to generate the dust patterns. We begin by calculating a 2D noise value based on the particles X and Y positions. Then a pseudo random noise value is generated. This noise will determine if a particle is inside or outside of a dust lane region. Here I am going to set another output variable out color and we will assign disk color to it. I am adding the out color variable over here as output to the HLSL and I am going to connect it to the particles color. Next, we decide if the particle falls within a dust lane region by checking our noise value against a threshold. If the noise value is below the threshold, then we apply our dimming factor for reducing the brightness to simulate the dust. 
So now you can play along with the variables. You can change the color of the disk from here. And also you can adjust the dust lens settings. By using a straightforward noise space technique, we have added detailed and convincing dust lens to our galaxy's outer disk. Our next feature is going to be adding a galactic halo effect. The galactic halo is a diffuse region of scattered stars and faint gas extending far beyond the main disk. It creates a subtle glow around the galaxy, providing depth and realism. We have added a completely separate emitter for the galaxy halo. Alright, so we can see all the three different emitters combined. The center bulge is a single solid shape and this prevents us create multiple different types of bulge that all occupy the center because one core is going to overlap the other ones and the result is not going to be as convincing. So instead of a single parameter bulge radius, we are going to now use a couple of parameters called bulge gap and ring width where the ring width is going to define the outer width of the ring and the bulge gap is going to create a gap at the center. Using this technique, we can create multiple emitters for our galaxy core, each having different bulge gap and ring width values as well as different emitter properties as you can see over here. For the galaxy disk as well, I have created multiple emitters with different values and different noise settings to get even more variations in the outer shape. We will now create a material for the galaxy clouds. Galaxy clouds are basically soft, wispy regions of dust and gas with a subtle glow. I used custom HLSL node to create the entire function. Here I am using the fractal noise to generate the noise texture. And for the input I am passing the absolute world position and the time for the offset in case you want to animate your galactic clouds. I also need to multiply the opacity with the radial gradient exponential so that my particles are circular. Alright, so we can now use this newly created material to add beautiful dense gaseous ring particles around the galaxy's main core. This concludes the core functionality of our galaxy shape. While customizing this further, I have noticed that some of the galaxy disk particles are also overlapping with the emitter. So you remember we had created a bulge gap for the core galaxy functionality, but we need to create a similar bulge gap for our outer disk as well. In our galaxy position model script, I will add the bulge gap parameter. And I will make changes in our functionality accordingly so that the radius also account for this bulge gap. Now by changing the corresponding parameter over here, we can make adjustments so that it does not overlap the main core particles. The result is really coming out nicely. Of course, you can further enhance the appearance of the galaxy by adding asteroid clusters, volumetric nebulas, planets, or even inter-solar systems scattered throughout. But for this tutorial, our main focus is creating just the galaxy system. To scatter the particles further along a given direction in a specific manner, you can make use of the additional forces such as the curl noise or the vortex force. However, the forces typically make the particles continuously move in a certain motion. And for a galaxy, mostly you would want it to be static after the initial formation. To address this issue, you can use a scale velocity module to gradually scale down the particle velocities based on particle age. For example, after around one second, you can smoothly reduce their velocities, effectively freezing the simulation into the perfect stable shape you have created using these forces. Now I'm going to spend some time to customize this even further.
all right so this concludes our today's tutorial as you can see i have exposed plenty of parameters right in the details panel giving you complete freedom to fine tune the galaxy until you achieve exactly the look you're after the project files are also available in my patreon page so consider supporting me by becoming a member and you will get access to all my tutorial assets and more exclusive contents and if you found this tutorial helpful, please like, share and subscribe to my channel for even more exciting Unreal Engine tutorials just like this one. Thanks a lot for watching and if you are interested to learn more about VFX, game development and Unreal C++ then don't forget to get in touch with me. I am also available on various social media platforms. So that's it for today. I will see you in the next video.